guys, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know about you all, but I live in a hot area. So today's video, I'm going to do a normal full glam makeup routine, but incorporate some of my techniques and products that I use to beat the heat. So stay tuned if you want to find out how to get your makeup to last. I'm starting with the Urban Decay B6 Facial Spray. This helps tone down any redness in the skin and keep it in check while in the heat. Onto the eyes, I'm prepping them with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Eye primer is a must, especially when you're going to be in the heat. You want to look for an eye primer that says long lasting or 12 hour wear or something similar to that. This is really going to help your eyeshadow stay in place and not crease, fade, or melt. Now I'm just adding some powder on the eyes to set the primer and help the eyeshadow blend easier. For eyeshadow, I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. For my first color, I'm just going to take this one for the crease and just place it into the crease using a wiper motion. Next for my outer V, I'm going to take this color right here and this one as well. I'm going back in and just buffing this color out with my fluffy brush. Next I'm going to go in with this palette here by Too Faced and I'm just going to choose this light color here and place it on the lid. It's helpful to pat the eyeshadow on the lid as opposed to sweeping it. By using the patting motion, it's going to deposit the eyeshadow evenly and keep its intensity. Now I'm just gonna go in with this color here and place it under the brow. So what I like to do after the majority of my eyeshadow is on, I like to spray my face with a setting spray. This I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So now I'm going to go back in and put on another layer of all the eyeshadow I just did. For me, layering is key and it helps build that color and it's helpful for your eyeshadow to not crease and withstand the heat. So for eyeliner, what you want to look for is a long wearing or 24 hour eyeliner. A lot of the pencils are made with um, like a wax base and wax base pencils tend to just melt off in the heat. So what I like to use is I stick to gel eyeliners or the liquid pen eyeliners. They tend to be waterproof and very long lasting. So today I'm just going to be using, it's by Rimmel called Scandal Eyes 24 Hour Wear. I'm actually not going to do wings today, I know. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the face. Um, first things first, for the face, you always want to prime the skin. It's really going to help make your foundation stay, not sink into your skin, and not melt off your skin. Couple options. For my face, I'm going to be using the Tarte 12 Hour Face Primer. You want to look for a face primer that, again, is long wearing, if it says 12 hour, 24 hour, whatever it is, waterproof. Now, if you have extremely oily skin and you just find that nothing is helpful, I have two products for you. This Smashbox product is called the Anti Shine and you put this on before your primer, before you do anything on your face and you just want to put it in the areas where you're extremely oily. So if you're extremely oily in your T-zone, then you're just going to put it here and on your cheeks. This other product is by Cryolin and it is, the, it is called Invisible Matte. So it's also a matting cream. This brand is made for like theater performances. So again, this product is really going to help control the oil, control the shine, and keep everything matte on your face. For me and my skin, I'm going to stick with the Tarte 12 Hour Face Primer. So next for foundation, you want to look for a foundation that again is either 24 hour wear, 12 hour wear long lasting, whatever the bottle says. If it's waterproof, sweat resistant, water resistant. For today, I'm gonna to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is a long wear foundation. And I'm just using a normal Kabuki brush. 
and just pressing it into the skin. Next I'm going to do a little bit of highlight and contour and I'm going to stick with um, cream products. So for this I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation sticks. My contour is going to be in the color Fawn and my highlight is going to be in the color Banana. Now that I have all my cream products on my face, I'm going to use some translucent powder to set everything. This is really going to help absorb all the oil and help my makeup not melt off. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back over my highlight and contour that I did with the cream sticks and I'm going to use powder. This is going to also help further set everything and help everything not melt off. For my contour, I'm using this color right here. This is a MAC Pro color. And for blush, I'm also going to be using a MAC color. This one right here, it's kind of a neutral pink brown. Next is mascara, so you want to curl your lashes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Cannon Ball Waterproof Mascara. You always want to do waterproof all the way. If you're going to be out in the heat, um, this is just a must. So next I'm going to pop on some lashes. Um, to do this, I actually just did a video on how to put on false eyelashes, so check that video out. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so my eyelashes are on and don't forget to use waterproof eyelash glue. Um, that's really going to help make sure that they don't peel off in the humidity or in the heat. So next I'm just going to put some eyeliner on my waterline. And for the eyeliner, I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. Now that my eyelashes are on, my mascara, eyeliner, um, almost done, I'm going to spray my face again with the Urban Decay setting spray. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, After Glow highlighter in the color Sin. And for lips, you want to look for any long wear lip wear. There's tons of products out there now, liquid lipsticks, lip stains, just so many out there to choose from that are long lasting and long wearing. It really helps to use a lip liner. Lip liner is gonna help your lipstick, liquid lipstick, whatever you're using, not bleed. So I'm gonna be using the lip liner by ColourPop in the color Chai and the ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Times Square. So once again, to finish everything that we just did, I'm going to spray my face one more time with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful on how to make your makeup stay a little bit longer and a little bit more heat resistant. If you found that it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. That way you know when I come out with any future videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.